Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look I'm wearing right now. I wanted to do a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, something that I would wear for New Year's Eve if I was going to like an epic party or something, but I'm not. I'm staying home on New Year's Eve. But if I wasn't, this is the look I would be doing. I do a New Year's Eve look every single year. I think I've been doing them since I started my channel. And I always try to make them just a little bit more glam than my normal tutorials. So we've got liner, we've got lashes, and we even have glitter on the eyes. I think I always incorporate glitter in my New Year's Eve looks. It's like a must, you know? So I made another attempt at a cut crease. And even though this is a very bold look, I used very natural, neutral colors. So it's extremely wearable, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> So, I forgot what company, but a company sent me one of these little board thingies a few months ago and I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect to write like little messages on it and to like hang it up on my wall. So, I mean, it's just sitting there for now, but I am gonna hang it up on my wall once I get rid of these frames. I'm gonna be switching some around. I'm not taking all of them off, but anyway, I thought it would be cool to like hang that up and then like write little things on it. Like right now it says, Happy New Year. I didn't know what else to put <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to mention that for some strange strange reason but anyway if you guys want to see how to get this look then just keep watching okay so I've already primed my eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape concealer and I've already set them and now I'm gonna go into my Dream Street palette and I'm gonna use the shade Mooney to highlight underneath my brow bone and then I'm gonna take one more shade in this palette which is this one and I'm gonna use this as my crease color. These are the only two shadows I'm using from Dream Street. The other shadows are single shadows, but I'm just using this color to buff into my crease. I'm pretty much putting this everywhere. It's gonna be my main crease shade, my transition shade. And then I'm gonna go in to this single eyeshadow right here. It's from Anastasia, it's called Fawn. And on a more precise crease brush, this one has a point to it, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing, but I'm not bringing this color up too far. I'm really focusing this right in the crease. And then I wanted a brown that was a bit cooler, not as warm as the other shades. So this is a Morphe single eyeshadow. This is number 63. And I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing with the same brush, just focusing this right in the crease. I'm going to take Shooting Star from my Dream Street palette and I'm just going to use that to kind of buff out the edges and blend out any harsh lines that I created with the other shades. Now I'm just going back into that Morphe eyeshadow and just doing the exact same thing, adding a little bit more of this shade to my crease. Okay, so now is when I do, well, now is when I attempt my cut crease. I'm trying to get better at it. I'm really not the best. Um, I Sometimes my eyes are uneven. That kind of happened to me today, but I'm really trying to perfect it. But basically, I, you just add concealer on your lid. You kind of see what I'm doing there, but you just map out and you shape out the cut crease with concealer. It's actually very easy. It's just hard for me to get both of the eyes to look exactly the same. So I'm just adding the concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to create this cut crease. And now I'm gonna take Mooney. Again, this is the shade I used under my brow bone. And I'm just gonna pop that on my entire lid. Everywhere I put down the concealer, I'm gonna apply Mooney on top. So since it's New Year's Eve, I did want the lid to sparkle a little bit. So I took the Natasha Denona Crystal Chrome Top Coat thing. And this is in the shade Nude. And I just applied it right on top of Mooney. And it created such a pretty like nude shimmer. I love this thing. But I did want to add just a little bit more sparkle, so I took the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Pyro, and I'm just applying that right on top.
Now I'm gonna add a winged liner to this look. I think every cut crease needs a winged liner. This is the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner in the brush tip in black. And then I just took um, M Cosmetics like regular eyeliner in black and I tight lined with that. And then I popped on some falsies. These are from the brand Kiss. And then I am moving on to the face before finishing the eyes. You guys know the drill. For primer, I'm taking my Becca First Light Priming Filter and I'm actually using um, staples in this video, like my favorite, most loved, long-wearing products that I know are gonna last me through New Year's Eve. I decided to use those products in this video, of course, because this is literally the look I would do for New Year's Eve. So the foundation I'm wearing is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in 118. I love it, it's amazing in photos and I wear it all the time, it's perfect for a night out. For concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, trying to switch it up from the usual shape tape. I love this concealer as well, so full coverage and it does last all freaking night. It's amazing. For powder, I'm gonna take my Glossier Wowder and I'm going to use this to set my under eye concealer and everywhere else I put down the concealer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. I usually do a very intense smoky lower lash line, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna pop on some eyeliner and some mascara. I'm gonna switch it up. So this is the, what is this? The Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. It's amazing. And then that completes the eyes. To contour the skin, I took the Makeup Geek Sunkissed Fair Skin Bronzer on my little Lisa Frank contour brush. And I used this to chisel out the cheeks. To add a more bronzy glow, I'm taking one of my favorite bronzers of all time. This is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer. And I'm just applying that right on top of the Makeup Geek one, just meshing those two bronzers together to add a little bit more of a glow. For blush, I have to go in with a Tarte blush, of course. These last all night. This one is called Seduce, and I'm just popping that on my cheeks with my little Tarte blush brush. I love this blush. I love all of the Amazonian clay blushes. They are amazing. And then for highlight, I'm going in with something that's really gonna stand out. And that of course is the Girl Lactic Luminous Face Veil in the shade See Through. This is the perfect highlight for, the night, for a night on the town because it's really intense and it just looks stunning at night and in parties under lights. It's amazing, so I definitely had to go with this one. And then for my lips, I wanted something that was gonna match my crease. So I went in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade 0, and then I topped it off with my newest gloss. This is the Moon Child Lip Gloss, also from ColourPop. And I'm just popping that right on top to make it a little bit less brown and more nude, and I really love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. But that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Not Adams. Uh, I understand that that's a. Oh, what am I doing? So I did. So I made an attempt at a. So I made. So I ha. So I made. So I did a.